Good news, Internet! This is War of Thunder, and apparently the end key switches factions. <laughs> that is also my shortcut for enabling fraps, so hopefully that doesn't get in the way in game. That's gonna suck, I'd hate to start over. But yeah, this is War Thunder. This is my Americanized Spitfire. It's a premium aircraft. So far, it's kind of my favorite one in the game. They do have things which I am working on the old P-51 Mustangs. There's the American side, and the top line is you have the... Um, if you're not locked, it's the Sabre. You know, they do have some like Korean War jets in the game, although this is a World War II game. I believe that tanks are like a hair away from being introduced to this game. This game was basically intended to replace World of War planes, World of Tanks, and make it into a single game, but better. But then they also plan on implementing ships, which would be really interesting to me, but... There are also three game types. We have Arcade Battles, which is your basically arcade our uh, planes fly really easy, which I use uh, Russian planes for that. And the biplanes, the starter planes. I'll get into that later in the video. We have uh, Realistic Battles, which um, what I'm going to play, which is I almost always play with these uh, higher level American planes that I have. They are much harder to, uh, well, they're much more expensive to repair the higher level stuff is so but you get more experience points and money the harder this goes the uh, the uh, the um and then you have well in the realistic battles which i'm doing the flight model is basically set to realism but the computer keeps you from completely screwing yourself you're not going to go into a flat spin with unless you have a seriously damaged plane unless you do something really bad <laughs> I mean, you got to do it on purpose. Uh, arcade battles, this doesn't even come into play. And in arcade battles, all these planes, you start out with three, but I unlocked everything in the American side, because I'm American. And um, then you get into full real battles, which they call simulator battles now, which I have highlighted here. And there's a definition if you can read that. That is joystick first person view only. I have been having some issues getting my joystick to work properly again, so I am going to play this game with keyboard and mouse. I have been playing it that way lately. We're just going to launch here. I've been having problems uh, getting my joystick to work, but I want to try it again. This game also has Oculus Rift support. Yeah. I really want to get an Oculus Rift and get into some f simulation battles. Ooh, I want to try that. That'll be awesome. Also, if you are into the simulator battles or uh, realistic battles, which we're entering now, but you like joysticks, any twin engine aircraft are much more stable. Just to let you know. My uh, simulation battle aircraft is my P3. It is very hard. I can whip the joystick around. It's not going to go into a spin or freak out. I don't know if that's realistic. To be honest, I think it's actually the opposite in real life. But, whatever, that's how the game works. And, okay. Um, okay, do we do have a runway? That is, flaps raised, okay. You are invincible on the runway, so people can't run into you. Although I spawned in early, I'm after everybody, I don't know what's going on. I'm holding down the C key right now so I can look around and adjust the camera. Here we take it off, G for gear. And you will notice the little circle that I'm moving around with my mouse. Yeah, that's... that. Yeah, you got W for... Like, turbo. S to slow your prop. Accelerates it up there. A and D. Rotate. And you basically you point. Left mouse key is guns. I'm not going to hit it because I have... The only way to get a reload is to land in this mode. So... And since this is a premium aircraft, I tend to be a target. It pisses me off. <laughs> I want to. I want to unlock the P-51s. Okay. Um, there's one of our ships over there. Uh, and a Corsair B-17. Yes, they do have bombers. 
Bombers can either be a complete pain in the ass in this in this game mode, or they can just decimate all. It just depends on if people uh, pick you out or not, to be honest. There's a P-51 here. I'm going to follow these guys. Oh, and in arcade mode, you have access to every plane in your lineup. You can respawn. Uh, realistic battles, which we are in, once you're dead, you're done. you got one plane. You get to pick it. In the class that you're playing that you pick, you highlight before you select launch, uh, chooses your class. Although it does kind of merge things to help if the rooms are small. Same with full real or simulator. Uh, they changed the name. But it's first person only. Our base has been destroyed. Really? I must have logged. Uh, uh, it's like I logged in late, like an active server, but people are taking off with no, our base is still there. I don't know. Okay, here's the internal cockpit view. It's you can't even play this with the mouse. You got this view. But that's this is the one you ha almost have to play with with the mouse. Bombers do not have internal cockpit views yet, but they said they will get them eventually. I would really like to get into a good clan. They have squadrons now. If you look, uh, don't shoot face, P-51. <laughs> don't shoot face is his name. P-51 NA Mustangs is the aircraft. Which I, that guy's actually pretty, I like that. You, they do have squadrons, however. Like you see that guy down there where it says jet powered underneath? I believe that is a clan or squadron. I've been seeing that quite a bit lately. Oh, and we have a Spitfire Fox. That's his name in a Welladin, 7.1 miles. Oh, there's a people there. You can barely land. Also, you can uh, program this game to where. See, I have IAS. That's indicated airspeed. If you are a flight sim guy at all, you need to have it on indicated airspeed. Because this game, although I'm in, uh, I'll, I'll do something crazy. See the instructor flash. It's keeping me from crashing. Um, it does have a fairly realistic flight model. It really does. And the higher you are. The f let's say I'm going around 200, the higher in the air I am, my ground speed is actually faster, although my uh, indicated airspeed says I'm doing the same. You need to know that. Granted, it doesn't do much, it doesn't have much use to you if you don't know what your stall speed or maximum speed is. Your maximum speed, you'll start to hear wind shear, that's not a big deal, but you need to know your stall speed, which I have not bothered to learn with anything I fly yet. Mainly because I just have not picked final aircraft, so I haven't really went to the work. But if you go with regular, like ground speed, absolute speed, it, it, it throws you off. You know, you, ground speed's useless, you need to know your IAS, so... Everyone says that just to let you know if you play this game. Ooh, another Spitfire. What? Oh, there's something else. And full real battles, excuse me, arcade battles or uh, uh, realistic, which we are in, everyone on each team has to be in the same faction or country's aircraft. Everyone I'm playing with is in American airplanes. Versus, I'm not sure what we are against. What's a well it did? What the fuck is a Spitfire? I mean, it, it's not going to be European. It's going to be either German or Japanese. Those are the three plus American factions. Oh, what? Why am Where is this? Uh, where is this guy going? Why am I following him? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, in uh, arcade mode, it doesn't matter. You can, it doesn't matter at all. You have to fly a certain uh, races at a time, factions at a time. You can't mix and match. But you can, you can in arcade mode, you can you can load into a match. You'd be fighting God, a mixture of God knows what. Okay, we get points for destroying ground targets and aircraft. If you kill everybody on the other team. We, oops, uh, we basically automatically win by default. Uh, it's kind of like hardcore mode. Remember, uh, you know, uh, first-person shooters. If you were to adjust it to where er everyone can only die once, regardless of what the objectives you take or destroy, if, if the other team all dies, you're just basically you win. You know, so. Uh, generally, you want to be higher. Altitude is always a benefit. It's just the way it is. Same in real life. 
However, like there's the guns. I uh, I have my I don't have I have tracers turned off so people don't see the guns flying past them when I attack them. It's like a stealth thing. I'm basically gonna fly a few uh, uh, realistic battles here. What do we got on the ground there? We got pillboxes, pillboxes. You can't really take out pillboxes with guns. You need bombs to do that. So I'm not gonna even try. I mean, really. Um, God, they got two of us. Two of us have crashed already. Uh, one of them ejected. <laughs> flight model is much harder in this mode, but you get much more XP, so if you're trying to unlock stuff, this is the mode you want to be in. It just is. Full real battles, I keep calling it X, that's what they used to call it. Now, simulator battles, you, you, you'll you log in, the first thing you want to know is the button to start your engine, I believe it's like I, I'm not, don't quote me on that, but the first thing you'll see is people going, how do I start my motor on the runway? And the second thing you would see is people crashing on the runway. Because these, like, oh, especially the Spitfire, with the torque they have, you throttle up 100% from a standstill, the plane will, will, will take off and they'll flip the nose right into the ground and crash. It's realistic that way. you got to ease into it. And you'll see that every, every time. It doesn't matter how many times you play. It seems like every time there's a new guy that does that. But it is joystick only, so... Where the hell are the enemies? Figures I'd be like tactically sound th today, but when I'm, I'm oops, overloading and yeah, I'm blacking out. See that? Wow. Okay. Uh, first video of this game I ever make, and I'm not coming across to anybody. Huh? I have recently set this game to full visual quality. This is as pretty as this game gets right now. I have VSync. I can't talk. VSync set to auto, which I didn't know there was an auto version of games, but I do have it set to that at the moment. Instead of full on, otherwise everything is full quality. They actually recommend this quality. This is a movie mode um, to be for replays only, but I gotta set that way all the time because I got a good video card, so. This is a GTX 760, although this game I was able to play a full stupid ass quality they don't even recommend with a 2 gigabyte 550 Ti. This game is just beautiful if you haven't seen. I if I get over the water close. Um where is everybody? Here we go. You'll you'll see how amazing this looks and it, it is very limit uh, unrestrictive of the hardware. This is one of the best visually pleasing games I've I've seen. Let's target him. Hold down Alt, you'll you'll see. Here's another reason the uh, third person view is so freaking uh, better. But yeah, this game is just beautiful, and it doesn't it doesn't it just doesn't use a lot of resources one of the really nice things about this. Really makes you wonder why Flight Simulator can't be so can't be better. Oh, he just screwed me. This guy just screwed me. Oh, shit. He, he forced me to... Sh I don't know if he's running, and it's just by coincidence, but he just forced me to shave off some airspeed. I didn't mean to. Come on. Oh, I'm going way faster. So let's back off. Drop my combat, my flaps, slow down. Hopefully he doesn't know I realize I'm back here yet. Yeah! I got a uh, kill assist, which is kind of bullshit, but still we got him. Light AA gun, I can take that out. Oh, it's shooting at me. 
Alright, that's dead. Alright, that's dead. Okay, that guy's 20 miles away. The thing about this game is it doesn't tell you... Whoa! What's that? Oh, wait. You're... Okay, another AA gun. Let's take him out since there's no enemies nearby. Um, this game doesn't tell you when you're low on ammo. Well, how much ammo you have left. It just starts telling you when you're low. Oh, well, my flaps are down. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, see the little wobble there? That's the flight instructor um here I'm holding down M it takes a long long time to load the map okay. okay I'm going the right way I'm gonna start heading back to our side here um I forgot what I was saying but yeah that was the flight instructor uh, correcting mainly you'll have the yellow control kick in that does that more than anything Oh, screw it. Let's take out the AA. I don't see any, 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 any aircraft near me at the, at, the, at the moment, which is rare. Let's, uh, let's make use of this and take some stuff out. They're only down two guys. We are, whoa, we're not doing good. It's not probably not going to take long for uh, somebody to find me and shoot me down here, but... I'm going to get the points while I can. Hold down C, turn the camera. Okay, target him. That's another reason. Uh, oh, there is a uh, bomber. There is a... Uh, near me. He's 2.7 miles away. He's not targeting me anymore, but i got to keep an eye on him. Retract my flaps. See him. I don't know if I should go for him. There's another Spitfire. He's gaining on me, but... Oh! Enemy flak. Okay, we're in the flak zone. Oh, shit. That does show up on the map. So you can look out for it. Oh, another thing. I'm holding down W to... Ex uh, engage WEP, which is War Emergency Power, which is kind of the equivalent. Oh yes, I have an I have a baddie on my uh, on my six somewhere. In a hurricane, I got Alex in a fucking hurricane on my ass. So let's. Is he? Oh, is he running? Yeah, he's getting farther away. We had a buddy distracted him. Thank God. Uh, and if you notice the triangle, that means he's a bomber. Which means he is going to have gunners. You can switch into gunner view. I'm going to run out of ammo. Yep, I hit him a few times. Oh, yeah, I'm taking damage. He shouldn't come after me, though, bombers. Yep, okay, they rarely attack. They're actually near our airbase. Crap, uh, there, where's our runway? Where's our runway? It's right over there. Oh, I'm over it. Okay, so... I need, oh shit, we got enemy fighters coming in. This isn't good. See him? Yep. Oh. Ah! Jump, 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 jump. God damn it. <laughs> oh, I almost was able to land. But yeah, I see my oil was hot. The longer I hold that emergency power on, the hotter shit gets, and you gotta watch that. There I am. They've shot me down. I'm done. I was the last one. Look at that. Oh well, well I was the last one. I did good. Okay, um, I came in fourth. Six ground targets, everyone gets one death. 
didn't get accredited for shooting down any aircraft because, well, it was an assist. Bleh, bullshit. <laughs> oh, well. And as you see, this aircraft, sh uh, aircraft, airplane is shot up now. I have auto reload turned on, but I do not have auto repair. So, yeah, you have to repair it. Since this is an online game. We'll go into my little um, bomber here. Do another um, realistic battles. Present for you. <laughs> and the load time is much higher, especially if you uh, switch current server to any available. This time of the night is like 3 something, 3.30 in the morning, my time, Central U.S., which means there are I there are a lot of Russian people. It's gonna put me on a lot of Russian servers because of that right now. You also get a much wider variety of uh, landscapes in arcade mode. I have noticed. Okay, see, I can only pick the bomber. And bombers start in the air, which honestly, I believe they should start on the ground. I really do. They're very hard to land to take off, I, to the point it's almost fun. Okay, there's this view. There's uh, the gunner view. At least the, at least the top gunner, whatever, I'm not sure how it works. There's the bombardier view, and there's the cockpit view. There's no real cockpit view. So, camera, hold the CQ button down, there's my plane. There, there's my buddies taking off at the airfield. And there's my bomb uh, thing a jigger. Yeah. Okay, I am going to um, fast forward to where I get into some action here. Found out this uh, plane does have guns I can shoot. Which I wasn't even aware of <laughs> until recently. So we are going to dive. There's apparently one of our friendly bases. Let's see if I can do a see if I can do a barrel roll in the bomber. And in arcade mode I'd definitely be able to do this, but oh 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 shit! Shit! Throttle back, I'm going way too fast. Oh, I'm gonna die. I might crash. <laughs> Holy crap. There we go. Oh, there are skills. There are skills in this game. There are. There's a lot of them. Like the amount of experienced gunners you have, which affects how good your gunners are. Which the, your auto gunners, you're attacked. Stuff like that, you know, so. We got a B-25 up there, which is what I'm in. He's going to probably take these out before I can get to him. I'm just praying that I can uh, get some uh, targets in the time that, um, it's uh, quick enough that I can turn around to land. So I'm probably just going to blow the shit out of stuff. And then uh, drop a whole crap load of bombs and turn around and attempt to live. For the video's sake here. Okay, this is very hard to do. Crap, there's an enemy. He's after that guy, though. Uh, you have to really watch the overlay. Okay, and let's drop all the all of them. I got guys right on my ass, and I am an easy target. Yep. Fuck. <laughs> oh, they blew my tail right off. Jump, jump. Oh, they blew it right off. Oh my god. <laughs> Dicks. But I can watch. These are my guys, their buddies that are still alive on my team. <sighs> oh, what's he doing? Yeah, but we're not going to bother. I'm going to just leave. Yes. And it does keep track. Anything, uh, it waits till the game match is over, then it applies any, like, points and stuff, so it does show up later. There is no reason not to leave early unless you just want to see how it uh, comes out. So I'm going to repair these two. 
and you'll see we'll go in, there's armament. Everything's unlocked in this in this on this aircraft. Except for the market distinction, which makes the wings pretty, and you can select like right here I can put a bomb on the bottom. You have to research everything. It used to be pure money before. My Corsair. And here is my um Let's go to arcade modes. The, game, the planes I fly in arcade mode. These little bastards, uh, we got three starter planes and two tech level ones. These little uh, Russian biplanes are maneuverable as hell. It's crazy. And they're all maxed out because it doesn't take that long. But yeah, I like to find a good squad to fly with. Get in a team speak, you know, maybe do some... Re uh, Realistic battles where it actually matters, you know, or we don't suck. You can actually talk to people. It's really hard to do anything tactical when you're just flying by yourself. This type of mode doesn't matter as much. You can just keep an eye on it. To battle. <laughs> you also always load in the air in arcade mode. See, see, watch the differences. We look at that. I mean, <laughs> although yes, this is a biplane. It's going to do a crazy amount of da damage. Uh, well, not damage. It actually uh, does less damage, but it's crazy maneuverable besides the point. It's not very fast. Oh, this is one of the best biplanes in the game I'm starting out with right here. Got a Buffalo, which is a uh, like level 1 air. Uh, no, it has a start that's the Starter American aircraft. I just can't fly Starter American. I could, but I eh, don't care to anymore. Also, you gotta remember these are all newer pilots you're against, too. So. Let's just ignore them. <laughs> Let's get some ground targets. This is the Call of Duty of uh, World War II flight sims here. Whoa! <laughs> Guns auto also also auto reload. Oh, is he gonna crash? I don't have any flat. I, I do have landing gear in this airplane, but I have flaps. God damn it! I'm hitting him. Oh, I got I got a bogey on my six too. He, there we go. That counted. You're get your uh, hit R. No, it didn't do it. Whoa! What do we got? Yeah, these games, these play, little starter, whoa, uh, biplanes turn so sharp if, you, if you're paying any attention at all, which I'm really not. Oh, uh, you know what it is? I think it's the uh, enemy AA that's fucking after me. There's Unless there's somebody that dislikes like me, which I am actually very good at... It's the AA. I'm actually very good at flying these little airplanes. Maybe it's because I'm experienced enough. Fuck you, AA. That uh, I'm more experienced. Better. Exper I'm more experienced than the real noobs are, or what it is. But I'm actually really good at doing this. Now he's gonna crash. Yep. Okay. Where's the runway? And the map takes way too long to load. It's way up there. I'm not damaged that badly. Like my bombs reloading in about four minutes here. If you look up in the corner. There is friendly fire on this game, and there is ramming. Whoa! If you accidentally kill a friendly, it does take away money from you, so you don't want to be doing that on purpose. That's a German biplane. Oh, we got an uh, American buddy on me. A fucking, what the hell is he doing if shooting at him? An amphibian fucking in a in a tight turning dog fight. Let's do a little right, uh, maneuver here. Get up on him, which I'm. I I ah! Oh, I'm out of bullets. Damn it! Come on, reload. 14 seconds. It's bullshit. Uh, he's going down. Uh, 
That's not fair. There's a way to reload early. I thought I had it set to R. There's whoa, we got somebody on my ass. So was where are they? That guy's close. Yeah, I'm used to playing in this mode. It's really tight turning airplanes, right? You can't you can't play the game that way. <laughs> and some of the other aircraft, you just can't, can't you just can't do it. I'm in stealth mode. I got stealth rounds. Yeah, he's a new player. He's zigzagging. And he's attacking something, although he knows there's somebody on his six. And these planes are hard to shoot people down. They don't, they don't. There we go. I thought it was R. Maybe I gotta recheck that. I can't reload. It's not letting me reload early. The game will also make people flash if they're targeting you, but it will also, um... It can flash when they first come into view, so that will screw with you a little bit. Come up. Roll to flip. Come up behind them. I don't remember what that maneuver is called, but it is a legitimate air combat maneuver. And if you're not used to first person. Uh, well, online combat sims. Oh, he's, no, he's doing that shit. Uh, I know how to counter that. Well, I thought I did. Maybe, whoa, shit, maybe... Maybe this guy's, uh... Doing what I'm doing. Maybe he knows the game, but he's loading into the... Yeah, I'm against an experienced pub guy. I'm definitely up against an experienced pubber right here. There's no way this guy's new. Whoa, shit. This guy's new to the game. He got distracted. Oh, I got him, but uh, one of his buddies got me. Yeah, that guy was good. He made the mistake of uh, taking interest off me, although I was still pursuing him enough for points. Oh, we are losing bad. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to load in my, my secondary uh, level one. If I do in time, if, it, if the game doesn't end, which has gear. No gear or flaps. Oh, we lost. It's got missiles. Look at that shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not 100% sure if it does it in uh, arcade mode or not. But your loadout affects how the plane handles. That uh, P-47 I got, with all the rockets and bombs on it, that thing handles like crap. And I'm researching a leg three, which I'll never use. You re you, you research uh, is research is independent to battle um, of your race. Just depends depends on which one you play. I have I did unlock all the um, single engine mono monoplane level ones because they look like uh, P-47s. They don't handle for shit. They're very they're higher speed, but they don't turn for crap. And I'm not interested in that amount of strategical you know energy reservation in arcade mode. I'm just not. So you know, I'm at where I'm at here. This is where I play where I've been drinking a little bit. <laughs> They're all, um, which a lot of people like this. A uh, guy I play EVE online with, um, although I haven't seen him in a while. He actually quit playing EVE. Uh, he had a Marauder, not a Marauder, a Dreadnought and a Carrier, and, and low sec. I mean, we were having some fun. But he finally gave up. But here I'll show you the M22. Which one's the starter? This is one of the starter, which is called a reserve aircraft, which means they will never damage. They're also the weakest gay planes in the game. Right here. I'm just picking this one because it looks the coolest. I mean, look at this. Yeah. Oh, here's the view of the starter. Could you, God, look at that, that, that crosshair. Could you imagine playing this? Whee! Could you imagine playing this in this view? 
But yeah, I, I'm probably going to die in this. I was hoping to get into a better game mode where we capture airfields. I have bombs on this? Well, that's right, it's topped out. Look at this, just do that all damn day. <laughs> yeah, isn't this game pretty? You're not even seeing some of the best levels. I was hoping to get one of the big mountainous ones. Where you can fly into the mountains if you're not paying attention. But... Hold down, watch this, hold down alt. Look at that shit. Okay, he's underneath me. Time to zoom in, to swoop in. If the other guy doesn't get him first. Like right now, normally I drop my bombs for added um, maneuverability, but I'm not sure it really does anything in uh, arcade mode. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that! A P26? Oh wait, there's somebody behind me. Uh, and he just got me up. I mean, watch this. Ooh! Never mind. <laughs> drop the bombs just in case. Up, over, and... I don't know what that maneuver is called, but it makes it so when you turn, you end up coming up behind them. I've been playing Flight Simulator since I built my first 3D6, and I was playing like Chuck Yeager's Air Combat. Oh, he's after the other guy. So I do know some very... I, I do know a lot of aircraft maneuvers, but... It's, this isn't real life. <laughs> He's, he's gaining on me. He's got range now. That's one of the reasons I like... Whoa! Oh, he's with the ground. That's one of the reasons I like... Ooh! I got, a, I got a baddie. It's one of the reasons I like this game mode for fun. I can put my aeronautical knowledge and make really make it of use into this mode because these, game, these, these planes in particular are so maneuverable. You can really put that stuff into play. As opposed to the higher end stuff, it's so hard, and you got people in, and then it gets to where it's more of, ooh, oh, what? Watch this, watch this. He's trying to do a loop to loop. He's gonna stall. Classic noob mistake right there. <laughs> I love, I love when they do that. Oh, I love that shit. We got a baddie over here. There we go. I love when they do that. That is that. Anyone that does that, they are new to this game. That's a given. Uh, it actually says in the tutorial, well, on the loading screen, a loop? Doing a loop? What the fuck? What, um... You're a smartass. There, uh, Serja. You're a smartass. Um, it says doing a loop is a good way of uh, getting your enemy on your tail. It's No, it's not. <laughs> Maybe, what the hell is he? Oh, he's, oops, wrong button. He's after our base. He's in a P-26. I don't know if I should really be going after him in a newbie airplane, but... Um, uh, he's... He, he's gaining on me. I can fuck it. I can't catch him. This guy's targeting me. But yeah, uh, against other uh, living players, assuming they are... They have the remote idea of what they're doing. Yeah, no. Do not try a loop to loop. You'd be better off doing a split S or an in Immelman or Inhaleman or whatever it's called than a freaking loop, for Christ's sakes. I mean, come on. Loop, a, a freaking loop. This isn't uh, Top Gun 2 on Nintendo, you know? I mean. <laughs> um, I pick you. Pikachu. Pika! Pikachu! <laughs> oh shit, he turned toward. No, he, no, he didn't. Okay, this is gonna be good. What's he shooting that house? What the fuck? Oh god, I got a baddie on me. I'm just gonna uh, hope that, he, that he's not, not any good at the game and just let him shoot me down. So I'm in a starter airplane. He's pulling the thing where he's at zero throttle. I'm gonna try it too. God! This guy's actually a challenge. He's gonna crash! He's gonna crash! Yes! <laughs> I actually get more enjoyment out of this game mode than I do any other. It's just that I have an urge to level my stuff, and so I do play the American stuff quite a bit. Although I suck at it a lot. Here we go. 
You know, it's it's a trade-off. Okay, finally. This took about six tries. You listening, Gaijin? You need to make a uh, filter option for the servers, guys. Come on. Some of us really prefer different maps other than the others. Plus, you really need to balance the naval to the na airplanes to the naval maps. I mean, come on, the hell on. Come on, do that. Good luck, guys. We're getting good luck on our from our team. I don't know how that works. But yeah, okay, this is the map, I, one of the maps I was talking about. I was going to be like, yeah, in comms, but it ain't working. Our base is like somewhere over there. There it is. See it? Screw this. Oh, see that? There's a mountain. I want to get away from this guy. I don't want to, I don't want to die. I just want to show you guys this level. And these starter planes do not do well in, oh, it's my shadow, in these starter levels. They really don't. I mean, they're not, they're just not, well, although I'm doing 200 miles per hour right now, they just don't do that good. Just put my keyboard in gaming mode for the first time since I've been making this video. I don't know what took me so long. Oh, I'm being targeted. Yeah. I like how the bombing thing went away as I uh, did the loop. You gr our ground targets over there. You'll see, you see those. Those are kind of neat. Got the dust behind them. There's a road. There's a hurricane, which is, I believe, a Hawker hurricane, which is an American plane. Although I am flying Russian right now. That we're in arcade mode, so that doesn't matter. No shit, buddy! We're supposed to attack the hostile vehicles. <laughs> yeah, short of killing everyone else with all the reserve planes, which I got like five on this one. Um, short of doing that, the way to get points to, uh, to kill the hostile troops. via ground vehicles, NPCs, and whatnot. Uh, arcade mode, that actually is important. Every other model, you, you tend to focus on killing... Uh, the enemy aircraft, because once they're all dead, they're gone. Because it's one kill, they're done. In arcade mode, in order to win the main game, you have, you gotta go for points. That's just what you're what you need to do. There's like capture the flag mode, where you got like uh, you, you need to start out with your own base. And there's two or three, I think, two bases in the middle. You gotta land on them to take them. Those are those are fun too. Those are actually really good for these starter aircraft since they land so well. Kind of nuts, really. Though that's really fun. I kind of came across one of those as I was uh, trying to find this type of map, but it was the Lonely Island, which is a neat map, but it wasn't what I was looking for. I wanted, I wanted to show you guys these this not, these mountainous regions, and when you get into really heavy dogfighting, people crash into the mountains quite a bit. This game's actually... This plane will do okay. Oh, there's a buddy on fire up there. See him? Uh, he's in a... He made the mistake of flying a Catalina! <laughs> which does ha which does come in handy, but... You tend to die. Oh, I got two bogeys on my six. I'm going down. Oh, at least I'm going to get some points. It's a hurricane. Ah, screw, they're busy with that guy. Let's let's go after these ground targets. Oh shit. Oh my tail's damaged. I'm gonna get shot down. There's just no way I'm moving through this. It just ain't gonna happen. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna give a valiant effort. Look at this. See how close we are to the mountains? 
but there's just so many of so many of his friends with me. I have the advantage, although he isn't a starred aircraft also. I do have an advantage being this little biplane because I can turn like nuts. A little bit more a little bit better than he can. Not much. Because he's in a, he's in a reserve plane. God, okay, gotta re oh my wing's dead. I just want to take him out before fucking I crash. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Get some! Run away! Run away! <laughs> Woo! Screw you! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, he flew into me! That freak, it was an American uh, reserve plane, starter plane. Buffalo flew right into me. <laughs> these planes don't do that great for these type of levels, unless you get into the low-lying valleys like I was in. Oh, you're dead. Um, because you can turn sharp. These maps are better suited for your higher tier aircraft in arcade mode. You'll only get these maps in arcade mode, I found out, which I am, which I am, which saddens me, to be honest. What, what do we got here? Uh, I used to, I can't be, I'm, uh, oh! I am never going to get that high. That is a, uh, that is a Russian fighter bomber, the BBs, which I have a bunch of them. I can load them all up easily. I put them all unlocked. I just don't fly them anymore. Where you, uh, the only thing you can shoot is your bombs. All your guns are NPC or gunner controlled. I'm not going to get high enough to kill him, I don't believe. Um, so, back to the airport. I'm going to show you just for shits and giggles what it looks like to land. I'm <laughs> probably going to log out. I, I do want to show you one more thing. Oh, shit. Reducing speed. Although I don't think I can die by going too fast in this mode. I'm going to land, log out, and I'm going to try. I'm going to show you guys something else. Hopefully it'll work. And then that'll be the end of this video. Hopefully I don't get flagged by a dev. Oh, rockets. Those are just awesome. <laughs> I accidentally damaged our base. Oh, shit, I'm an asshole. I, I, <laughs> I could easily get flagged. <laughs> but I'm on the ground. See how I'm, I'm bobbing and stuff? Depends on where the mouse pointer's point is. Break. <laughs> that was funny. There, I landed. Got points for landing. You can actually get good points for just taking off and landing in like a new aircraft and never actually doing anything. You can get serious points for doing that. You take off, it'll give you like 70 points. You spin around land, give you 70 points, take off. So it's just nuts. I've done that a few times. Watch here, we'll go into rearm mode. We got points for landing. And then it goes into this mode. We'll take off. And then I'll crash your shits. As soon as the uh I get the points. Watch. Yeah, another 20 points. Ah! <laughs> uh it was a tech one or tier one. I'm gonna have to pay to fix that. But yeah, you you can cheat that way, so. Okay, on to the last thing here. Hopefully it works. Oh, I forgot. You see guys see anything different? I forgot. You go into test flight with a Navy airplane, they do this. I forgot about this. This is so awesome. This is the naval side. This is test flight with a Navy airplane. Okay, we got our flaps to take off. I don't know what they were at. I think they're at landing, which they probably should have been. I don't know if you saw these guys moving around. Let's tr we're going to try to make a loop, take off, and land. And I'm going to try this as many times as I can, although it's late. Hopefully I get it so I can finish the video. Okay, we're going to do a full WEP or emergency power on takeoff. 
And we will drop off the fuck the edge here. Oh, I didn't. Wow. That actually surprised me. Do a hard bank call. I usually don't do this this hit this well oh, I might crash level. Okay. Yeah, you usually don't want to do that that early on. <laughs> because you don't have the air speed up. That a lot of new players make that mistake where they try to turn too early. You do not have the uh, momentum to make that turn. They refer to it as energy, which is basically just airspeed. You have to keep a track, keep track of your airspeed. You just have to. I don't know for sure what's going on with that. Um, that voice crap in the background. I really don't know for sure. We are in in arcade mode to make this a little bit easier. Not 100% sure I'm going to accomplish this. If not, everything from here on out will be just video edits on Final Approach till I get it. Good, it is getting late. So hopefully I get this the first try. I am a little far gone at the moment. And this is one of the hardest things to do in the game. Especially in, real, in uh, realistic battles. People swear this is impossible. Although I can actually do it. 50-50 or more, so I don't know what they're talking about. But at the same time, they all live longer than me, so maybe I'm just better at certain things than others. Okay. And there's the aircraft carrier out there we just took off from. See it? We're going to attempt to land on that shit. I just built... This was actually the first airplane model I ever made was Corsair, so I kind of fond of these to a but... This is very hard to do. So bear with me here. Very hard to do, even in arcade mode. Just gotta get the line right. You gotta land in the box. This is where three point landing comes from, where you get the third wire, although I'm not sure that it came into play back in World War II, but. Time to be quiet. And I failed. Whee! <laughs> okay. Temp number two. Let's see if I can. Oh, oh, jump. That's what a failure looks like. So here we go. Okay, attempt number two. I'm going to be fairly quiet. Oops. Shit. For the next few attempts here, because this is very hard. You'll only see the one that's successful after this, but I still gotta really try. I am technically drunk, so. And look at that! Ha! There, I did it. Thank God. Second try. Much less editing to take care of. There we go. That is the carrier takeoff and landing. So yeah, there, there is a lot of stuff in this game. I'm actually surprised I'm not like auto rearming at the moment. This is non-camera view. Um, but yeah, this is it. This game's actually pretty good. Um, I'm actually a fan of this game. I mean, it's still in beta. Technically, it should be an alpha, although the uh, aircraft stuff is definitely in beta. The rest of the game isn't even started yet, a lot of it. So, yeah, um, there it is. I showed you everything I could in the short amount of time I could. 
in one video, and even this one video is going to be quite a bit long. But there you go. Uh, hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully this makes you want to play this if you ever got into this type of gaming. Uh, hopefully uh, if anybody sees this, if you're an awesome squad with a Steam Peaks, uh, excuse me, Team Speak channel that plays this late night, like, you know, third shift, uh, American time, hook me up, <laughs> you know, but yeah, boom, 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 guns, 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 woo, but yeah, uh, that's it, I hope you enjoyed it, until next time, I will see you on the flip side, fly safe, everybody, oh, shit, ha, 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 Oh, it's bullshit.